I think I saw that the Russo brothers. So the Russo brothers are back, and they're going to direct this new Avengers movie. Sure. And they've brought back Robert Downey Jr. to play uh, Doctor Doom. And I think I read that the Russo brothers are being paid eighty million dollars to direct this movie. Holy shit! And I don't think people have the exact number. But I think it was reported that Robert Downey Jr. is being paid significantly more than that to be in the movie. <laughs> oh, my God. So is he being paid $200 million to be in this movie at this point? <laughs> being paid $100 million to be even in one movie is crazy to me. It's crazy. Like That's the budget of like a movie. <laughs> that could just be the budget of a movie, right? Of a like big of a movie. movie. Of a big movie. A really big one. The thought of managing a movie that's cost $100 million is insane. Giving it to one person to play like a guy is just crazy to me. I don't even think he'll show his face in the movie, right? It wouldn't make sense in kind of like the, the movie because it's about a movie that takes place in the Marvel Universe where Iron <laughs> Man existed, right? And yeah. so why would you show his face in the movie? That would be so confusing. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll just put like, a mask on him the whole time and it'll just, you know... To me, that is just disgusting Even to pay point. a what, man that much why? movie. Just like so you can say Robert Downey Jr. is in the movie? Is that their idea? Well, so their previous plan is over where they were going to use Krang. And Krang was played by Jonathan Majors, Kang. I said Krang, Kang, the Conqueror. Mm. And of course, Jonathan Majors is out of commission because he got canceled for, I think, being like a girlfriend beater, I think. Yeah. So he's out of commission. And so now... It's a scramble. Okay, what are we going to do next? What is going to be the next five-year, 10-year plan or whatever? They had to pull out Robert Downey Jr. out of a wow. Marvel retirement. He won an Oscar, right? Like, Yeah, so, so I mean, he's, he's, now he's important. Right? <laughs> he feels vindicated of his acting abilities that he won that Oscar and he's good in that mm -hmm. movie or whatever. But yeah. yeah, I guess I might as well do this stupid part and get like a million billion dollars <laughs> to buy you know, a 10th house, a 10th plane. <laughs> And then maybe even save some money for my great, 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 great grandchildren. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't That's blame Robert Downey Jr. It's just point. like, but to me, it's just disgusting to like pay that much money to a guy, especially when so many people are being underpaid and fired mm -hmm. in the industry. So, yeah. Wow. What what a world we live in. It also says that Damn. it <laughs> contains performance escalators that kick in at 750 million and a billion thresholds. Which isn't so technically they're not getting back ends, but basically if it makes at least 750 million, the Russo brothers will get even more money than the 80 million yeah. that they're getting. <laughs> My God, they suck. <laughs> it's just ridiculous, man. I don't. What is Disney's plan here? I mean, these movies are going to have to cost hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars to make. Do they think it's going to get another billion dollars? Is that they're probably just desperate again? They're still trying to capture the magic before Avengers Endgame, right? That's why they're bringing him back. I think they just need to give up. Just move on. Yeah, that would be nice. What a moment to be alive. Wait, wait. This is funny. For Downey Jr., who helped catapult Marvel into a money printing machine thanks to his turn as Tony Stark in the first Iron Man film in 2008, his deal also is filled with perks that include private jet travel, dedicated security, and a whole trailer encampment for the newly minted Oscar winner. <laughs> but they're making like a fucking village for him to chill out in while he like films this movie you know what we're shitting on the mcu but deadpool and wolverine yeah broke box office records it is the highest grossing weekend for an r-rated film ever at 216 million dollars for its opening weekend well you know even with that movie they had to pull out the stops to get hugh jackman on they get hugh jackman. i mean like you know i'm sure his connection to playing wolverine which is like an iconic character and it's an iconic performance of that character probably the it's the whole movie you know i think that probably helped in I think rightfully so. Like, I think they they made a good bet on that just yeah. because people thought that he would never return and he did and nerds like that stuff. So, but then again, because of the success of that, it's like, well, it worked for this. It's going to work with RTJ, you know? So 